Hey, Big Rich here, with a little help from Siri today. So today we're going to take you through some iPhone, iPad help on Siri and search, and things you can do with Siri, and things you can do in search. So again, right, you can tell Siri to listen for, if I say, hey Siri, she might come on. There you go, because I have my phone set up to recognize, hey Siri. So you can use that. You can press the home button to get Siri working. Um, do you want Siri to work when the phone is locked? These are all kind of the configurations that you can do on the Siri. You can also configure search for when you do put a search into Safari or your iPhone, how far out do you want that search to go? So it really is an iPhone search. Search within your contacts, search within notes. Um, so you can configure the search within the, the um, Siri and search functionality of your phone. So we'll take you through that now. All right, Siri and search. So again, to find Siri and search, you go and look for your settings icon. That's the, the gear. And we're going to scroll down the menu and look for Siri and search. And you can see it opens up a menu for several things that are going on. So in Siri and search, the first thing you can do is turn on, hey Siri. So notice with Hey Siri turned off, if I say Hey Siri, I don't hear Siri. Sometimes that's a good thing. Or I can turn it back on. Siri is set up. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. And we're done. So, when you first turn on, Hey Siri, It will take you through a setup, set of setup screens, which you'll see in a second, to learn your voice, right? So each of us have slight different tonations, um, speech characteristics. So Siri's learning and learning our voice and learning how to pull it out of background sounds. And that will take you through those setup screens. Okay, with H-E-A-Y Siri turn on, got to spell it because Siri is pretty quick. It'll prompt you for things that you can do, right? And you all know about Siri, so we won't go much more into that. You can also program it so the home screen goes to Siri. So pressing and holding. I'm not sure I understand. Right? Opens up Siri. You can also allow Siri to be used with the the phone locked or not locked or the iPad locked and not locked, right? And that turns it off. I have it turned on. And what language do you want Siri to talk to you in? Of course, I have it set up for U.S. English. Big Rich doesn't speak many other languages. But that might be kind of fun for you to go through and play with the different languages and see how good you are um, talking to Siri. My guess is she won't understand much of what you say if you don't speak the language. But a lot of options there on languages in Siri. Sir, Siri voice. I tend to like the female voice um, and pick American, but the Australian and British voices are also kind of fun. So you can adjust the, the slang and dialect of the, the voice. And voice feedback. So I like Siri giving me confirmation on what she's doing. So I, I have that turned on, right? So you can have it always on. You can control it with the ring switch or only have confirmation done in hands-free only mode. So I have it turned on all the time. Again, you can play with that setting, see which one of those you prefer, um, and then you can make quick adjustments to it if you want to as you go or only use it in hands-free mode. So that's, that's Siri, and then you know you, you can tell Siri who you are. And again, so I'm Rich Close. I'm not going to open it up. There's some personal information there, but it lets you tell Siri who your, your wife is, your, your spouse, your kids, your children, your mom. So instead of saying their names, you can say, right, H-E-Y Siri, call my mom, and she'll call your mom or call your wife. So you can put in personal information there. Um, and then 
search, right? So getting more into the search activity. So do you want the iPhone to come back and give you suggestions for what you're searching for based on initial entry? So if you, you're typing in words, it, it will automatically prompt you, kind of like what Google does for what searches you might be looking for. Um, and again, suggestions that you've looked up before. So then you can go in and, and tell your iPhone or iPad, hey, you know what? When you do a search, I want you to look through all of these different apps for information. So you know, let's go down here, for example, right? I could care less if it looked through the calculator for information. I'm just going to turn that off because I don't care, right? And I might like it to look through, so I use Google Drive, right? So I, I definitely want search to look through Google Drive. It might find documents or information in the files that I have stored in Google Drive. So you can go in and configure each of the apps. Do you want your search to look through these apps or not for the information you're looking for? And I suggest you turn off the apps you don't want so you don't get miscellaneous stuff showing back up in your search and, and you get a more refined search. And you can see every single app on your iPhone or iPad is here for you to configure and search. So um, I'm, I'm not going to configure any more than that. So again, Siri and search. Configure how Siri works on your phone and what you search for on your phone when you do a search. And there you have it. Siri and search. Use Siri to help you search and find things on your phone and or on the World Wide Web. That's The Sitch with Big Rich. Make sure you subscribe and catch more help on iPad and iPhone.